What to expect from iPhone 16? Well, if you're thinking of upgrading your iPhone, I'd say stop. This is probably not the best time to buy a new iPhone. It doesn't matter if you're planning to buy an iPhone 15 or 14 or even iPhone 13. But August isn't probably the right month to buy a new iPhone. Why do we say that? Because Apple is all set to announce brand new iPhones very, very soon. Historically, Apple's iPhone launch event has happened in the first two weeks of September. And if analysts and tipsters are to be believed, this year's iPhone launch date could be September 10th, the second Tuesday of the month. If this is true, then we could be less than three weeks away from brand new iPhone 16 series. So why not just wait a little bit more to check what's in store as part of the iPhone 16 series and if it's really worth your buck. The Tech Today team has compiled all the leaks and reports in one place. So we bring to you a detailed look as to what to expect in the iPhone 16 series. Remember, these are expected features based on reports and leaks. Nothing is set in stone until the phone actually officially launches. What we know for certain here is that Apple will continue to have four iPhones. A regular iPhone 16, 16 Plus, Pro and Pro Max. The Pro models could get bigger, 6.3 inch iPhone 16 Pro and a massive 6.9 inch iPhone 16 Pro Max. In terms of design and colours, we can expect to see a new bronze colour for the Pro models according to Mac Rumors, a new publication that tracks all things Apple. Ming-Chi Kuo, another Apple analyst, believes that the iPhone 16 will be available in black, green, pink, blue and white. And dummy images leaked online by tipster Sony Dixon showcases these exact colours. Reports also suggesting a reworked camera placement for the regular models, switching back to a vertical arrangement. This could be the case so that all four models can shoot content for Apple Vision Pro. Last year's action button on the Pros could make its way to all four models, so this could be the end of the mute switch. But the Pro models will still have a differentiating factor. According to Mark Gurman of Bloomberg, the 16 Pro and Pro Max could come with a new shutter button, just like that on a DSLR camera. Gurman also claims that 8GB RAM would become the benchmark on iPhone 16 series as its minimum requirement to run Apple intelligence. However, the Pro iPhones could still get higher RAM as well as a faster chipset for any additional features. While Apple doesn't advertise battery figures, the Cupertino-based company does maintain that new iPhone models have the best battery life. We can expect more of the same this time around as well. But these are reports from the industry analysts. What do people actually want here from the next iPhone? Tech Today's Lakshay Kumar is out there on the streets of Mumbai to find out just that. So we now have a fair idea of what the next series of iPhones is going to look like thanks to leaks and expectations by industry analysts. But is that something that the people want? Is that something that iPhone users would actually want to see on iPhone 16? Let's find out exactly that. So we're here on the streets of Mumbai to talk to people about their expectations of the upcoming iPhone 16 series. Which phone are you currently using? iPhone. Sorry? iPhone. Which iPhone? Uh, iPhone 14 Plus. Which iPhone 14 Pro. Pro. Oh, Indian company named Technopoa. I have iPhone. 15 Pro, Max. I am using Apple. Which phones are you currently using? Okay, so I have an iPhone 14. I have an iPhone 13. Here my Redmi Note 8 phone. Uh, iPhone 13. Uh, we have iPhones. iTel. It's an Indian brand. I'm using 13 Pro Max. Are you planning on upgrading to iPhone 16? Uh, no, we are happy with our iPhones. Are you planning to uh, upgrade to the iPhone 16 once it comes out? Uh, yes, we'll plan. I, I'm currently living in US, California, so there is an easy process to buy iPhone, so we can exchange the phones easily on a lesser amount, that's why. Not now, but yeah, soon. Right now, no, because I just bought it. So after I've used this for a while, I might upgrade to whatever next one. I don't get. think so, because like most of the phones are similar and I've like lost a lot of phones and like broken a lot of them, so I do not think so I would want to change right now. I, d I don't feel like uh, Apple does major upgrades in their phones, so. My phone is working and I don't need to flex on something. You know, when you don't need something, you don't, you don't buy that. Depends on the price. What are your expectations from iPhone 16 model? Might be battery life for storage and security as well. Now we are facing the so many cyber security attacks, so security improved. Do you really have that uh, AI emoji feature in that iPhone 16? So definitely I think one of 
the most important features in an iPhone is the camera. So if the quality could become better, because if you see the 13 and 14 are pretty much similar, um, almost all the features are similar, but I think because of the brand name, there's a hype. So a better camera, maybe some additional features, like they were introduced in the iPhone 15. And yeah, nothing in particular. I wouldn't want better battery life. I have to carry a power bank with it. So like, <laughs> yeah, so a better battery life would help a lot. I don't know, maybe a major design change. More storage in iPhone will be better for iPhone users. There are more reports and rumours talking about improved camera sensors, new OLED display tech and much more. But as we've learned from the past, nothing is really ever confirmed until Apple actually unveils the product on stage. So take these reports with a pinch of salt and keep checking our website techtoday.in. Watch the show to stay updated and attuned to all the world of technology.